What's up for November? Comets and meteor showers. Hello and welcome. I'm Jane Houston Jones from NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory in Pasadena, California. Long ago, humans thought that comets could predict the future. Now we know that comets hold the fingerprints of the past, the history of the early solar system. They may also provide clues into the origin of life on Earth and perhaps on other worlds. The International Rosetta Mission, with NASA participation, is investigating a comet's physical characteristics, composition, and behavior as the comet journeys toward the Sun. Rosetta's lander, Philae, is scheduled to land on Comet CG as early as November 12th and transmit data from the surface about the comet's composition. November's twin meteor showers feature the slow Taurids and the swift Leonids, the Taurids are the debris of comet 2P Anki, visible from mid-October into December. Look in the direction of Cetus and Taurus in the eastern sky. The faint and swift Leonids peak on the 17th and 18th and follow the path of comet 55P Temple Tuttle. In 1866, Ernest Temple and Horace Tuttle discovered a faint comet orbiting the Sun every 33.2 years. The reason that every 33 years the November meteor shower is stronger than usual. Leo rises near midnight and sets near sunrise, so the best time to look is between midnight and dawn. I'll be out counting the Leonids, armed with a comfortable chair and a blanket, and I hope you will too. Almost 100 years before my first meteor counting mission, American astronomer Dorothea Klumke became the first woman airborne meteor observer. She observed 15 Leonids that night in 1899 from her balloon 1,600 feet above the French countryside. You can learn more about Rosetta and Comet CG at sci.esa.int slash rosetta and rosetta.jpl.nasa.gov. And you can calculate the Leonids and Torrid rates at your location at leonid.arc.nasa.gov slash estimator dot html and you can learn about all of NASA's missions at www.nasa.gov That's all for this month. I'm Jane Houston Jones.